today I have got my first Mind Matters counselling session in Nelson. I don't know what to expect really. I'm going to go, I've got a questionnaire to fill in before I go and I'm going to be as honest in that as possible and I'm going to be honest in the session. There's a bit of a coincidence in that today I received a letter from my oncologist um, just stating really what he told me on the phone on Christmas Eve that uh, the radiotherapy's worked on my primary tumour which is obviously great news uh, that there has been um, some growth or changes in uh, the lesion uh, on behind uh, my heart on the left hand side um, and it says really that in his, his, in his opinion uh, surgery is still the best way going forward um, it's, um, in that letter it does say as well uh, that the treatment plan may change uh, defend, depending what we find in surgery um, with, with that lesion so essentially seeing it on paper, seeing that what they're saying that there still is a chance and I knew, I knew once that there's still a chance that, that these two other lesions could be tumours just gotta touch wood, pray, hope to God if there is a God that they, they are fluid build ups like they were originally saying if they're not and the tumours they'll close me up and then we'll discuss chemotherapy and I don't know I've seen it, like I said, seen it on paper I don't really know how to react to that, it just flares up a bit of anxiety um, keeping the anger down knowing that it's been last time I saw my oncologist was December, at the end of December and that time waiting between seeing him and having my surgery and if they are tumours, that, re that recovery time from surgery to then starting chemotherapy, that's a long wait but it's all stuff that I'm going to discuss in my Mind Matters uh, counselling session today but on a plus note, the weather outside today is absolutely beautiful I've got a few things to do after my counselling. I need to go see my nana. Uh, she hasn't been very well. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to go up Pemsey Crag. I've got my walking pants on. I'm just about to plaster up. I've got a few blisters from previous walks. So, I, yeah, I'm going to go up Pemsey Crag. It is full sunshine. It's about minus one outside. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go out and walk. Get everything off my chest that I need to in the counselling and then I'm going to go out and walk, forget about that letter, forget that surgery is in a week, yes this time next week, surgery, a week today, anyway, counselling and then to the hills. Good afternoon, I am getting out and today I'm going to go up Crook Rise. No, I'm not done that one. I'm going up MC Crag. It's only a small one. I'm uh, going to my nana's later on. So I just, I just wanted to get out. The urge. The weather is absolutely beautiful. So that's where we're going up today. Like I said, only a small one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It is bitterly cold today. I haven't got my gloves on yet. Do a pocket, I'm gonna put them on shortly. I'm just walking, slung a, a smooth bit of track just round the crag at the reservoir even. My uh, brain doesn't seem to be producing the words that I want it to today. Uh, I've had my first counselling session today. I met my counsellor, Laura. Uh, I got off my chest quite quite a bit, to be fair. Uh, 
I talk to her about stuff that I haven't, or some of the thoughts that I've been having, that I haven't really voiced. Uh, worries, anxiety, and like, triggers of anger and stuff. And I did, I did get a bit emotional talking to someone you don't know that isn't close to the situation that I'm in. And it really has quite helped. The first, well, what she said is that usually they do the appointments weekly. But obviously I am having surgery a week today. So we're scheduled in a phone call for the 14th of uh, February. And counselling treatment will all and continue after that phone call. And my treatment will be centred around my, uh, what the operation shows really. I'm going to have to stop. I've got quite bad chest pain. I might take some paracetamol. I'm not using my walking poles yet. Oh. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to catch my breath. I'll uh, catch up with you shortly. Caught my breath back. I'll have a uh, cup of walking pole out. Take some paracetamol. Uh, so following on from what I was just saying, the uh, mind matters stuff. I, I really think it's going to be beneficial for me. It's all about well, CBT, really. Cognitive behavioural therapy. Uh, giving me coping mechanisms and strategies to deal with those anxiety flare-ups, to deal with the anger, not really short temper, but, well, yeah, maybe a short temper, uh, and breathing exercises, relaxation. Well, like I said, I got that letter this morning from my oncologist. It's all stuff we already knew that if I have the, when I have the operation, that there's a, a chance that these lesions may be tumours. Seeing it on paper is what makes it then a little bit more real. Uh, yeah, so that's why I made the decision to come out walking this afternoon. Got the letter, went to my Mind Matters appointment. Um, this has become my coping strategy, my release. This is, so I think I've really been giving myself CBT, haven't I? Ways to deal with a cancer diagnosis, ways to deal with anxiety. Put on some walking boots, a nice warm jacket, and get out walking set some goals, short-term goals, long-term goals. That's one of the things we talked about in my counselling this morning. I have worries about the future, naturally, with what's going on. I have worries about talking about the future, mortgages, babies, financial stuff. So I have all those worries. But setting those short-term goals. Today's short-term goal, get to the top of MC Crag. That's it, that's today's. You know what I find really funny? I have lived in this area most of my life, bar the odd few years, France, Surrey, Scotland, Wales. I used to come up at MC Crag a lot with my gran and my brother when I was younger and I parked up in the car park set off walking walked all the way along and then halfway around the uh, the reservoir I've just got across the wall and I'm doubling back on myself I should have gone the same way I went on the 3rd of January along the other side of the car park and <laughs> round the other side of the reservoir even and I would have ended up at this point so 
so you'll see on my activity tracker I'm gonna double back to myself grounds frozen solid there it is not a long one but quite a bit of steepness bit of scramble at the top happy